hyperresupply.com sells the best modded accounts for GTA 5, Need for Speed, and Forza Horizon. Now, they do sell modded accounts for each platform you play on. And you can find the best cheap prices here. There's no other website that is out there that has the same prices as hyperresupply.com. And also, they have five star reviews on Trustpilot. Now, Trustpilot is a legit website that does background checks on the reviews. And if you go over to Trustpilot, hyperresupply.com is a verified company with five star reviews. Also, if you want to save even more money, use code REBEL for 10% off your next order. Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And in today, this video, I will be showing you the best easy solo clothing glitches all in one video. And as the video does go on, the clothing glitches do get better. And this also does work for all platforms. And also, you could do this for the female and male character as well. But, you know, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification as well. Let's not waste any more time, and let's get straight into the video. I will be showing you an easy way on how to get any sort of belt, like a gun belt or a paramedic belt on your saved outfits. Now, you must have your saved outfit ready to go. Now, the only requirement is that you will need a top that lets you equip the utility vest, but the utility vest will disappear after the glitch. Now, go over to the top section, go over to any clothing store on the map, go over to the utility vest and purchase the peach plate carrier. Now, make your way over to the front counter. Then you have to save this as an outfit on slot number one. Now, continue to stay at the top section and go over to the heist coveralls and purchase any of the last four heist coveralls with a gas mask on. Now, afterwards, you will need to make your way over to the closest telescope so you can do the telescope glitch. Now, once you're there, run past the telescope while hitting right on the D-pad and that's when you pull away from the telescope. Open up your interaction menu and you must apply the saved outfit you just made earlier once. Now back out from the interaction menu and walk away from the telescope and you should see the gas mask merge onto your saved outfit like this. Now you will need to make your way over to the mask store once you're done. Now once you're at the mask store, make sure you save this as an outfit on slot number one once again. Now you will need to back out from the mask store. Then open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, go over to rockstar created. Now go over to the missions and start up the mission called a titan of a job and accept the alert once it does pop up. Now on the job menu, just don't mess with anything. Just go over to confirm settings and push play and accept the second alert. Now that should be spawning you into the job mission like this. With no utility vest and with a gas mask on. Now head over to the closest ammunition store on the map. Now once you're there, you will need to make your way over to the outfit section. Then you must save this as an outfit on slot number one once again. Now afterwards, back out from the outfit section. You must pull up your phone and quit the jobs list like the way I'm doing. Now once you've done that, that should spawn you into a random GTA 5 online lobby like this. Now once you do spawn in, make your way back to the ammunition store. Go over to the outfit section once again. Now this part is optional. You could either select any sort of outfit that has a belt on so for instance if you want the prison guard outfit or the maintenance gear belt just select the outfit that you do want the belt so once you do select the outfit that you like the belt with you equip it on once like this now you will need to open up your pause menu go over to online go over to jobs go over to the bookmark 
and you will need to start up the mission called it's a g thing now if you do not have that one available i'll put a link down below in the video description on how to get it so you can bookmark it for yourself now once you do start it up accept that alert this part is very important now make sure you put the clothing on player saved outfits so this glitch could work now you will need to invite at least one person to join now once they do join start up the mission and accept the alert now on the second job menu on the owned outfits click one to the right and ready up as well now this should be spawning you into the job mission like this with no utility vest or a belt on like this now just wait about like 15 seconds in the mission now once the 15 seconds is over you will need to open up your pause menu go over to online and start up creator and accept the alert now you should see a menu like this after you do start it up now afterwards open up your pause menu from here go over to online and just basically load into a invite only session so you can load into a regular gta 5 online lobby quicker like this now afterwards once you do load into the online lobby you should see you have the outfit with the belt on not your saved outfit yet now basically still any street vehicle off the street or call up your personal vehicle and register as secure serve get inside of the vehicle and go over to the secure serve management and once you're inside of the vehicle on style of the secure serve click one to the right and one to the left now close your interaction menu and unregister as secure serve and leave the vehicle afterwards and you should see the belt merge onto your saved outfit like this. Now, if you save this as an outfit, it does stick. Now, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's move on to the second clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you an easy way on how to get the black duffel bag. Now, this method is solo and the rest of the clothing glitches as well. Now, you will need to make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go that you want the black duffel bag on with. Now, either register as secure serve or MC, and you will need to request your terabyte. Now, if you do not have one, you can always tell someone to lend you their terabyte. Now, go inside, go over to the touchscreen device. Now, you will need to go over to the client jobs and start up the job called robbery in progress and accept the alert. Now basically all you want to do is scan the cameras to see which bank that's getting robbed. Now it doesn't matter which bank location that the bank is getting robbed the glitch will still work. Now if you do die during the mission don't worry the glitch will still work as well. Now once you do find out the bank you will need to kill off the bank robbers. Now once you kill off the bank robbers you will need to make way inside of the bank and pick up the black duffel bag and it should appear on your saved outfit like this. Now basically just lose the cops. The fastest way is to call Lester just to lose the cops. Now once you do lose the cops you will need any sort of flying vehicle and make your way over to the yellow drop off point and it doesn't matter which location it is. The glitch will still work as well. Now with your flying vehicle you will need to jump out of your flying vehicle like this near the drop off point. Open up your parachute after you jumped out and basically all you want to do is glide into the yellow marker. Now you should see the duffel bag disappear like this but that's fine. Now head over to the ammunition store on the map the nearest one. Go over to the front counter. Go over to the parachute bags. And you will need to purchase the Israel troop bag, the blue and white one. Now equip it on through your interaction menu like I'm doing. Now get in any sort of flying vehicle afterwards and make your way over to the mass store once you're done. You will need to fly really high near the mass store like this. 
jump out of your flying vehicle, open up your parachutes, and basically all you want to do is glide into the mast door where the shelves are. Now, basically all you want to do is ragdoll into the mast door where the shelves are. Now, once you ragdoll into the mast door where the shelves are, continue to spam right on the D-pad till the mast door opens up for you like this. Now afterwards, you will need to save this as an outfit one time and back out from the mask store and apply the saved outfit you just made and you should see your black duffel bag transferred over to your saved outfit like this. Now if you're wondering on how to change the outfit, you could either easy way out or register as secure reserve and go over to the style on that and click one to the right and one to the left and unregister as secure reserve and you're able to change your outfits. Now hit that like button and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you an easy way on how to get multiple colored riot helmets. Now you can put this on your saved outfit. Now just make sure you have your saved outfit ready to go and you will need a personal vehicle or a random street vehicle off the street. Now with your saved outfit, you will need to make your way over to the closest clothing store and remove any mask or helmet on before you do the glitch. Now make your way over to the hat section. Now go over to the helmets and you could either purchase the digital or the cubist or the cobble or the death helmet. Those four will give you random riot helmet colors. Now afterwards go over to the riot helmets and purchase slash equip the LSPD riot like this. Now afterwards you will need to open up your interaction menu. Then you will need to go over to the helmet visor. Make sure it's on down. And on the bike helmet put on the random helmet that you did purchase before the LSPD riot. Now you will need to register as secure serve. Go over to the management and stand in front of the vehicle. Now enter the vehicle, go over to style and click one to the right and one to the left. Now close your interaction menu, exit the vehicle and you if you open up your helmet visor, it should change your helmet to a different color like this. Now if it did not work for you, you must try it a couple times. It worked for me on the second try. Now hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's move on to the other clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you on how to get pouches like military pouches. Now make your way over to the nearest clothing store on the map. Now once you're there you will need to go over to the front counter. Then you will need to find the section called the Cairo Perico Heist. Go over to the grassland armor and purchase any grassland armor that you do like. Then save one of them on a random slot. Now continue to stay at the front counter. You will need to find the section called the Heist Coveralls and purchase any of the last four with a gas mask on. Doesn't matter which one you purchase. Then you will need to make your way over to the closest telescope so you could do the telescope glitch. Now all you want to do is run past the telescope while hitting right on the d-pad and that's when you pull away from the telescope. Open up your interaction menu and apply the saved outfit you just made earlier once. Now close your interaction menu and walk away and you should see the gas mask merge onto the saved outfit like this. Now basically just make your way over to the mask door once you're done. Then save this as an outfit once, once again. Now this part is very important. Back out from the mask store and you have to apply the saved outfit we just made five times very quickly like I'm doing. Now once you've done that, you will need to open up your pause menu, go over to online, go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, go over to rockstar created. Now go over to the missions and start up the mission called a titan of a job and accept their alert. Now basically on this job menu you don't really have to do much just go over to confirm settings and push play 
and accept the alert once it does pop up. Now that should be spawning you into the job mission like this. Now once you do load in, you should see you have no gas mask on like me. Now make your way over to the closest ammunition store on the map. Once you're at the ammunition store, basically just go over to the outfit section and save this as the outfit once again. Now back off in the office section and basically pull up your phone and quit the jobs list to the jobs list like I'm doing. Now that should be spawning you into a random GTA 5 online lobby. Now once you do spawn in you should see no gas mask on your saved outfit once again. Basically do not try to get killed during this part. Just make your way over to the closest clothing store on the map. Now if you cycle through the tops and you can see the majority of tops let you keep the pouches on. Now the cool thing about this is you could change the pants, change the shoes, put on a mask and put on a helmet and the pouches do stick. Now make sure you save that as an outfit though. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button and let's move on to the final clothing glitch of this video. I will be showing you a cool and easy way on how to get invisible arms on a prison guard outfit. Now, you would just need to make your way over to any clothing store on the map. Now, once you're there, you will need to make your way inside and go over to the front counter. Now, you will need to find the section called the Diamond Casino Heist. Now, you will need to go over to the prison guard outfits and select any of the two outfits that have short sleeve on. Now afterwards, go over to the top section once you're done. Now go over to the overcoats and select the first option. And you should see the invisible arms do disappear. Now it does stick as well. Now hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next GTA 5 online video. Peace.